Good morning. So the trail has been on dirt road for quite a while. Um, and now I think it's going to go off into the, to the forest. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think it's going to be actual trail for a while, so we'll see, and we'll also see with snow, so let's go! How beautiful this is! Look how smooth this is, the trail. I'm just happy there's no snow. What to have for a trail snack? I think I'll have a bagel with some peanut butter. Um, and a uh, electrolyte tablet, one of the noon uh, electrolyte tablets. That's what I'm thinking. Whew. All right. I still have a while to go today. I want to make it at least 20 more miles. Um, I'm on a climb right now, so hopefully there's no snow. <laughs> we'll see. I wonder where the guys are um, that all went the green route. I lost them because uh, I went to go find uh, Melissa, well, she's a follower here on YouTube, uh, at the one of the hotels. I wanted to meet her because she told me that she worked there and uh, I lost everybody else because they left earlier than me on trail and uh, I unfortunately have not found them. It's alright. Um, but yeah, Melissa, I tried to find you but couldn't. Uh, so yeah, now it's just try to find people. <laughs> uh, there's no people out here. Eh, it's okay. <laughs> It's crazy how fast the scenery changes out here. And how fast I die. Um, yeah, so I've been climbing, but I'm really thankful for the smooth trail. Um, Colorado Trail is definitely smooth. So, the Colorado Trail and the Continental Divide Trail meet up, and you could tell the difference in the trail, like how smooth it is. Oh, okay. Huh, let's keep going.
slow downs, my favorite. Not. Ooh, scary. Snow. You're not supposed to be here. I wonder what that is. Maybe somebody needed water and then melted snow? Or made a snow cone? Like I'm gonna do right now? <laughs> With my Mio? <laughs> oh, it's too tough. That's all right. Snowy snow. Excuse me. You're supposed to be melting all of it. I'm joking. There's barely any snow out here, which I'm so thankful for. Um, yeah, so I think I'm gonna go, um, I'm gonna try to make it to Marshall Pass today. We'll see. That would be a huge mild day, and from the looks of it, because I didn't know there was this much snow, I'm not going to make it there today. Uh, we'll see. There might be other alternates I could take. And I'll take those if I can. Just because it's the CDT and it's the create your own alternate. Um, and I haven't seen a single person <laughs> in a long time. There's so many mosquitoes now. Oh. I'm gonna go this way. The trail is like a jungle gym right now. Oh. Ah. So I just tried calling my dad and I could hear his voice a little bit um, and it sounded like he was crying. So now I'm trying, oh, ow, ow, ow. This just hit me. Um, I'm trying to get to service, good enough service so I could call him to see what's going on. All right, let me get over this. Ah. 
I'm really scared right now. Because I don't know what this means. And uh, my dad uh, just called me. And um, said, well, well, I called my dad and I heard him crying. And I didn't know. I, 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 I wouldn't stay on the phone long enough. Because the service is bad. And now, um, he just messaged me. I need you to get to a place you could call me on the phone. So, I'm scared. I, I, like, my dad wouldn't message me if it's not serious. And I don't know what it is. Okay. Just need to get high up. I don't know how, I don't know how, but um, my dad just called me and said that uh, my dog, Hunter, um, just passed away. I'm not even sure the details on how, like, how, why he was sick or anything like that, but uh, that's all I know, if she's gone. My cuddle buddy, my snuggle buddy, my baby boy.
made it to a uh, room in Salida, Salida, however you pronounce it. Um, I just made my way to the nearest road I could find and um, put my thumb out because I just, I was uh, like, I couldn't even breathe at one point during the day. Um, I know a lot of you will think it's silly because, you know, some people have said in the past, it's just a dog, it's just a dog. It was my best friend. Hunter was my best friend. <laughs> he was my best friend. And, um... <sighs> Today has just been really tough. So, uh... I just made my way to the nearest road. Um, I'll go back, of course to do those miles. I just needed a room with um, a bathtub to just relax in and uh, some food and a bed just to give my body a break because I've been just all over the place today. My body's dehydrated from all the crying. Um, Sorry for this video, and I know none of you signed up to listen to me cry about my dog, but it's part of my journey. So, thank you guys for sticking around and supporting me. Um, I'm going to get to relaxing, and I'm going to look at videos and pictures of my baby boy, my baby hunter. And, uh... Yeah, just relax. You know, I find it crazy because in Pagosa Springs, I was just showing like videos and pictures of Hunter to all the guys, um, Shepherd and Point Three and Ricochet, and I was like, "Look at my baby, I miss him." And then we, on the hitch back to trail. We saw a German Shepherd, and I was like, look, that's just like my baby boy. And uh, I think it was like the universe uh, like telling me something. I don't know. But uh, I love him. I love my baby Hunter. And uh, I just can't believe this has happened. It's all right. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna get in the shower, rest, and just try to breathe. <laughs> Alright, thanks guys. I just know that uh, Max and Hunter are happy right now. Um, I'll see them again. Uh, I miss them. I miss them, but they're happy. They're not in pain. They're not in pain anymore, so. Jeez. Dog lovers just love heartbreak. Because, you know, they're not going to outlive me. I'm going to have so many more heartbreaks. But it's all worth it.
He goes crazy.